Hey howdy hey partners, today we have the XL15 Buzz Lightyears in 12 inch scale review. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. If you would like to see some more Lightyear toy reviews, all you have to do is click the link to the playlist pinned in the comments or in the description of this video. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen. And that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. Partners excited to be back again with another Lightyear toy review. This time I decided to do both XL15 Buzz in the 12 inch scale since I have both of them. One is a standard issue, $12.99 release, $13. This one is going to be a little bit more pricey, but not really. At $20 is a really good bargain because you get a bunch of accessories to kind of dress up your Buzz Lightyear. This one I found at Walmart. This one I found on Amazon.com. I decided to review both of these at the same time because I realized both of these are depictions of Lightyear. Well, Buzz Lightyear as we know from the Lightyear movie in his XL15 suit. These are the other ones we can collect. I don't have that one because I think it's not gonna be out till June. Right away, wow, these look awesome. At 12 inch scale, they're definitely going to dominate the toy shelf because they just stand out as awesome pieces and this helmet actually comes off which is really nice so in a way you get a free accessory something I wish we would have gotten with the other suits but we got it with the XL15 here so if you do buy it know that you can remove the helmet which is awesome this one's a little different you see the hinge it's kind of missing there or it's designed a little different looks very similar but they're actually different pieces this one looks a little bigger than this one very interesting but these look really cool now what I like about this one is you can remove these like white boots uh, they slip on and off on this one you can't because they are molded to the body of this one so that is very interesting to note and there are different detail differences because you can see the gray boots underneath that's probably what he's supposed to be wearing under those you can see the belt is on here but we also got a belt. So this belt looks way better than what we got here with the cheap plastic one. The orange looks a little different right there for some reason. And then this is not removable at all. So it is removable on this one, which actually reveals a light to your decal right there. Why didn't they put this on the Space Ranger Alpha suit? I will never understand Mattel. Why would you do that? And a big difference, obviously we have Buzz with hair. We have the head covering on this one. So it's kind of cool to have both because you have one with hair and one without. And I think it looks very interesting that way, even though it's supposed to be the representation of the same one. Great expression of buzz. I'm going to do a side angle. Interesting. So on this one, you get a really cool Star Command logo on the arm patch with the 15 on it. That looks really cool. And we are missing it here on this one. This one says Mission Infinity 15 or star command which is really really neat why are you doing this Mattel and then you notice here on the back is just a plain orange jumpsuit he has the jetpack thing here on this side oh again we're missing we're missing the decal of star command another cool patch that we're missing unfortunately I wish we could have had that on this buzz here on the front we do have the light ear here we have the light ear there so at least from the front they look re really great I just wish we would have had those mission patches it would have looked a lot better another difference here is we have the gray material right there the gray coloring we are missing that here but wow it's a big difference actually they're very similar yet they have big differences here you can see the visible neckline because of the joint but it's hidden under this one because this one articulates a little differently so with the human head for some reason we have up and down side to side kind of movement uh, which is cool. On this buzz, we don't have that. We just have side to side, which isn't bad. It's just different. So the articulation is the same on all these figures. Uh, they just have the swing out arms, which is really great. You do have the 360 there at the elbow. You have a nice elbow joint bend there too as well. You have the swing in and swing out motion, which is really nice. So you do have a lot of dynamic posing abilities with all these 12 inch figures. And the other buzz is the same exact too. So kind of does the splits there. Uh, if you wanted to do the splits, you could do the splits. Here at the boot, there is 360 rotation as well. So that is very nice with the knee joint articulation. 
as well as doing the splits, <laughs> which is cool. So Buzz can kick forward as well, and not really back as far, but the knee does have a nice bend. So that is very interesting. But great articulation, and of course, the waist does articulate 360, which is really nice. So Buzz has awesome possibility. For a 12-inch scale figure, I'm very impressed. Now what's different about the other Buzz is that he actually has the rocker ankles, which I wish the other uh, Buzzes have this for the 12-inch scale. Um, unfortunately, they do not, but the boots is so cool on this one. I wish we would have had that on the other Buzz, but we do not. Uh, so yeah, same articulation, but that is a bonus that you get on this one that you don't get on this other one. All right, it's time to accessorize our light year. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like, you know, something Ken would say from Toy Story 3. So this here just kind of snaps into place, actually very easily. Make sure everything's lined up and then you just kind of press it together. The belt is really cool. I love the painted details. It comes undone right here back here and it's just going to slip around him. Now this part goes on his left wrist. I'm not really sure what it's for. Maybe it's a time jump thing or something. I don't know. Came with these really cool slip-on style boots. So we're going to put those back on. Has a right and a left. My favorite accessory is this laser blade. It's cool because it has this blue translucent plastic. It's supposed to be like in the movie, a trigger button that like sparks the laser to cut these uh, kind of like aggressive plants or something. They're trying to eat them. I'm not really sure, but it's pretty cool. And I love that this could probably be held by other buzzes who are 12 inch scale. And then we can't forget to put on the helmet accessory. Here we have both XL15 buzzes. Wow, it looks so cool. Especially with the helmet, it kind of completes the whole look. It's just so weird to me that they're very similar, yet they're very different. There's things I like about this one, and there's things I don't like about this one. Together, they make an awesome buzz. But it's, yeah, I, I think I might transfer the belt onto this one, because I think this belt is better. So I'm going to transfer the pieces and show you what I think is best. Okay, so in my opinion, I think this looks best as a training suit buzz, almost like he was in that blue suit from the trailer. I really like the way he looks this way. And this buzz, I just transferred the belt over, although I realize that it doesn't fit. As you can see, it's too small. From the front, you can't really tell, and I think the blade looks really great in his hand, although I'm thinking I'm going to put it in my Ranger Alpha suit buzz. You have accessory options, you know, if you want to put the helmet on, you can. Put the vest back on buzz, you're able to do that. So it's pretty cool that you have options to accessorize the training suit buzz, but I kind of think it looks cool like that, and I really like the way this looks, but it's up to you what you want to do. Let's line up all the 12-inch buzzes I have so far. So here we have all the 12-inch scale buzzes that I've collected so far, which you have the XL01, you have the XL15, one's like a training suit version, and then my Ranger Alpha suit buzz with the laser blade in the hand. I think it looks really cool in his hand as an accessory. That's just a personal preference. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite 12-inch scale light year buzz so far that's out there? It's really cool that you have options to accessorize these. Unfortunately, I tried. The helmet does not fit on this Ranger Alpha buzz suit. I wish it did because it would be really cool to have a helmet for this buzz. But for now, I think they look really great like this on my shelf for display. And I really loved adding these to the collection. I hope to see more of these in the future. Hopefully one with a helmet variant because I'd love to see more of this style buzz. Because this is the main Ranger Alpha suit that we're going to see probably buzz most in the movie. And the suit that I love the most because it resembles Buzz Lightyear's from Toy Story's suit. As always, partners, we're on our way to 100,000 subs on this channel. If you want to help support me, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you later for your future videos on this channel. And I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're a you are an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.